That's right, that's right, that's right. It's time for everybody's hated intro. Let's go. Fecky. Well, let's start it off with the guest, with, with the, with the we, viewer. We're going to throw the guest up first? All right. Yes. So here's a little shout out for the uh, guest fuck out of here. Let's get it kicking and going. Hey, y'all. Here's my fuck out of here for this week. I know it's super late. I'm submitting it now, but whatever. Um, okay, again, mail carrier. Deliver packages, deliver mail, whoop, whoop, whatever. Anyways, so my fuck out of here is when you go to work and you're fucking exhausted, but you see all the shit ton of Amazon packages, because let's be real, we basically work for freaking Amazon. Um, so whatever. The regulars come up to you and they're saying, oh, all these subs are super lazy. Nobody wants to work. Back in my day, we used to work 20, 25 days in a row. Man, shut up. Back in your day, you didn't have Amazon. You didn't have UPS's help, if anything. You didn't have this. You had you're you're all the shit. Okay, Amazon is no was nowhere near as bad as it is now. So, my fuck out of here to the regulars and my job. Kiss my ass. All right, that that one actually is is really good. <laughs> Um, and the reason I like it is because she's she's not wrong. So let's just even take the postal service, right? That yeah. you know we're talking about back in your day in the postal service, it, there was no we, online. We have Paul Bear, bro. There's no online, right? So how are you gonna? How do you have to listen? What's I have to buy something or bake something, package it and send it. I'm not buying things online to send to my home. So you know it's shit, man. It's a lot harder nowadays. And then you throw in COVID. Man, fuck out of yeah. here. Don't even start talking about back in my day. You go through a pandemic where all people can do is shop online and I have to be the person to deliver that shit. Bro, Man, I could only imagine what here. that I could only imagine what that looks like. By the way, one thing, uh, because it's not a debate here, but uh I'm glad uh she did say that Amazon they do work for Amazon. <laughs> oh well. Wow. She admitted it. Does anybody uh, not anyway. work for Amazon? That's true. Um, here's my fuck out of here. All right. And it has to do with the, uh, what's going on with COVID and the new variant and the fact that the, the you know, the, the president stepping up and saying everybody has to get the vaccines if you haven't gotten it and all that. And it's starting to, it's, it's starting to becoming more of a um, you're going to have to do it. Right. Because cities like New York is actually um, I think before you enter a restaurant, uh, it looks like what's coming down the line is that you have to show that you've, you, you, you've been vaccinated to walk in a restaurant or somewhere. Anyways, so. My fuck out of here is this. Uh, our, he said something about, the president said something about um, Florida, and he used so Florida as an example. And our governor, DeSanti, decided to clap back. So he clapped back by saying, you know, his stupidity, right? And he, about, you know, he doesn't want to lock people up, that our president wants to do this and snap. This is the issue. And this is, I don't understand where, this, where it is. But... The reason why people don't want to get vaccinated or, or still think that this shit is, is fake is because it's become politicized. Listen, it's something real. It's real. People are dying for it. If you want to get the shot, go ahead, get the shot. If you don't and you get it and you it's on you if you die, you can't blame nobody else. Then the people that don't want to get it, I can't say too much because I haven't got vaccinated yet. And it's not because I don't want to do it. It's... Uh, I just haven't made the time for it. Um, but anyways, those people out there that don't want to do it, don't want to get it, and don't don't make it a big deal about it. You don't want to get it? Fuck it, don't get it. And if you catch it, then it's on you. So fuck out of here. We're making this shit political, and, you know, and people, and, you know, just fuck out of here. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I just want to say fuck out of here. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't really didn't know what mine was going to be about, but you kind of inspired me. So... Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe you guys are going to say that I'm on the same message that he is. Cause I, I, I'll be honest. I don't know if I understood his message completely. So maybe that's part of my problem. <laughs> um, just being honest with my viewers out there, but I'm tired of hearing people complain about the, about the fact that this stuff is getting worse. Right. And we didn't like, we didn't realize there would be a, a Delta strain or some shit like this shit stuff mutates all the fucking time. Like, how do you not know this is going to happen? And you know, 
All these people want to, I, I, it, it, this is more of a general statement. I'm tired of people who want to complain about the problems, but don't want to be a part of the solutions. Okay. Yeah. Because the facts are, if you get vaccinated, you are helping be a part of the solution. Can you technically still catch it? If you like the Delta variants and stuff, absolutely sure you it's can. A new, it's a new strain. It's a new strain. But you're keeping other people safe by doing it. I'm just tired of the people who have to work are the people who suffer while all these other people go out and do whatever the hell they want. Because guess what? I'm back to wearing a mask at work and I have to watch all these people walking around doing whatever they want everywhere they go with no mask. So fuck out of here to all of you people who want to complain, but yet really haven't got vaccinated. Number one. And number two, fuck out of here to all the people who pretend that they got vaccinated so they don't have to wear the mask. And then they're not doing anything. And guess what? Fuck out of here. The state of Florida, because you're the worst, go get vaccinated, Mm -hmm. wear a damn mask, save people's lives because that is the worst state in this country when it comes to the virus there i said it fuck out of here florida yeah it, it's it's just crazy it's it's become a political thing and it's and people are not believing it it's gone it, i it's what's crazy about it is that people think this is fake, fake and news. it's not real right and it's it's not real. You, I, I, I watch my feed all the time. I'm like, and I just nod in my head. And some of my friends, they're like, they're a lot. They're spreading this fake news, and I'm like, oh my god, this is crazy. Listen, like, if you don't think it's real, go back and watch the episode that we did. I don't know what number it was that we did with a uh, with a guy from Los Compadres podcast. Go back and watch yeah. that episode. Tell me that yep. shit ain't real. Tell me that you know. That that's what's happening because people don't want to just take the just man up and just take it already. Like, I, listen, there's a lot worse shit we're putting in our bodies that we don't know the long term effects in this damn vaccination. I can guarantee you that. So. Well, here, here's something real quick before we 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 go. All right. And I, and I know I wanted to bring this up because I wanted to see your reaction to this. And, and I read this post, and, it, and to me, I'm like, holy shit! It made me go, hmm, right? So, the the post said this. If getting vaccinated is if getting vaccinated is being pushed because it's for the health of the nation and it's free, why are they not making chemo or um, or why are they not making chemo and something else free also for the health of the nation? Okay, because it's not it's about majority, right? Okay, it's, it's I about, wanted to hear your feedback on yeah, that. It's yeah, it's about majority. The entire nation right now is affected by COVID. Businesses, okay. individuals, every there's not a single person in this country who cannot say that they have somehow not been infect, uh, impacted by COVID at some level. Okay, mm-hmm. you can't say that about cancer, unfortunately, or anything else. That's the reality of it. 